Hello, and welcome to this demo. I'm going to show you how to set up Code Risk Analyzer to scan a Node.js app that's located in a Git repository. As a refresher, Code Risk Analyzer is a security tool that can be configured to run at the beginning of your code pipeline, reviewing and analyzing Git repositories for known issues in any open source code that needs to be managed. It's included as part of IBM Cloud Continuous Delivery and is configured as a set of Tekton tasks that can be embedded in your delivery pipelines. The results of the scans are shown in your Git artifacts, like pull requests. OK, let's get started with the demo. We're going to scan an existing GitHub repo, so I'll show you how to set everything up first. We'll start with a blank toolchain, to which we'll add our repository and everything else we'll need to scan it. First, to add Code Risk Analyzer to our toolchain, we need to add DevOps Insights. Next, we'll add our repository. You can add an existing repo here, but I'm going to clone one I already have. Then, since CRA uses Tekton tasks, we'll add the open toolchain Tekton catalog. This is just a GitHub repo that contains reusable tasks that we can build into our pipelines. For the next step, we'll need an API key, so I'll just go create one. You can also use one that you already have. Finally, we need to add the delivery pipeline we'll use to run CRA. We need to add the Tekton tasks, a trigger that will run CRA based on a new pull or merge request, and our API key. Once we're all set up, we can submit a new pull request in our repo. First though, let's take a look at what's needed in our repo for Code Risk Analyzer to be able to scan a Node app. So here are the files that we'll need to deploy our app to a Kubernetes cluster. A Docker file is a text file that Docker reads from top to bottom. A Docker file is just a recipe uh, for building Docker images, and the act of running a separate build command produces the Docker image from that recipe. Our app is packaged along with its dependencies into an image before being deployed to Kubernetes. Code Risk Analyzer scans the Docker file for OS and image dependencies, which are then checked against known vulnerabilities. Here we have the deployment.yaml file. This file specifies all the parameters involved in deploying your application to the Kubernetes cluster. In Kubernetes, a deployment is an object that can represent an application running on your cluster. When you create the deployment, you might, for example, set the deployment spec to specify that you want three replicas of the application to be running. The Kubernetes system reads the deployment spec and starts three instances of your desired application, updating the status to match your spec. If any of those instances should fail, the Kubernetes system responds to the difference between the spec and the status by making a correction, in this case starting a replacement instance. In Code Risk Analyzer, the deployment YAML file is scanned for any misconfigurations or potential security or compliance issues based on community and industry standards. This is the package.json file. The package.json file is kind of a manifest for your project. It can do a lot of things completely unrelated. It's a central repository of configuration for tools, for example. It's also where NPM and Yarn store the names and versions for all the installed packages. In our case, all our open source dependencies required for our app to run are listed here. Next is a package lock.json file. This file is created automatically by the npm install command. npm is the package manager for Node JavaScript platform. It's used to publish, discover, install, and develop Node programs. npm install downloads dependencies defined in the package.json file and generates a Node modules folder with the installed modules. PackageLock.json describes the exact dependency tree that was generated, such that subsequent ins installs are able to generate identical trees, regardless of intermediate dependency updates. 
because of this, Code Risk Analyzer uses this file to find app dependencies for scanning. And then we have the application file itself. In this case, it's just a basic Hello World type of app that sends a message to the screen. It's basically the simplest Node.js app you can create, a single file app. But it's fine for our purposes today. We're just going to make a minor change to the text message, and then we're going to create a new branch uh, to commit our changes to. We'll give the new branch a name, uh, propose the changes, uh, and we'll actually create uh, a new pull request uh, for this change. Okay, let's return to our toolchain and click on our delivery pipeline. We'll be able to see that our new pipeline run has been kicked off automatically. Code Risk Analyzer is now scanning our application. Uh, it'll take a couple minutes to run, so let's jump to uh, the completed scan. Okay, looks like our scan completed successfully. On the left here, we can see the completed scans for our vulnerability scanning, our security scanning, and for our bill of materials that will list all of the dependencies in our application. Let's go take a look back at our pull request. We can see that our configuration analysis has passed. We have our bill of materials created. Uh, but in our vulnerability report, that we see we have a problem with our package lock.json file. Drilling down a little uh, deeper, we can see that it's a problem with a version of Hello.js. Uh, we can click through the vulnerability to the Sneak Threat Intelligence database uh, and take a look at, look at exactly what the problem is uh, with this particular package. Uh, so here's the details from the, the Sneak database, uh, and you can see that uh, the problem that we see with Hello.js has been patched uh, with a higher version. So we're, we need to make sure we're referring to 1.18.6 uh, in our uh, package lock.json file. So let's go fix that. All right, so let's go back to the file. And we'll just make the change uh, in the uh, file here where we'll change the version of Hello.js uh, from 1.18.3 to 1.18.6. Uh, and we'll commit that change. Now, now we also have to uh, rerun npm install to update the package lock.json file. Uh, but once that is done, uh, we should be able to uh, resubmit our pull request. So let's quickly make our changes to our app.js file once again, uh, and again we're just changing the text in the uh, message, and we'll submit a new pull request. Jumping back to our pipeline dashboard, we can see once again the new pull request has been kicked off, and we'll run through all of the scans uh, in Code Risk Analyzer one more time. Scans have now been completed, uh, so let's go take a look at our pull request. And as we can see, uh, our vulnerability report now shows uh, no vulnerabilities. So that wraps up this demo. We've shown you how to use Code Risk Analyzer to scan a Node.js application. For detailed instructions, follow the link in the notes below. Thank you.